Number 19. Give the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in neutral atoms of each of the following isotopes. We have A through E, so I'm just going to write A, B, C, D, and E. And now let's get to it. We did one very similar to this one in number 18. So if you're new to this question and if you don't really know how to do protons, neutrons, and electrons or find them, go back. That one's a more in-depth um, explanation. But anyway, let's keep moving forward. A, we have lithium, Li, 7 and 3. And we need to know how many protons, electrons, and neutrons there are. So, we should know that the number of protons is the atomic number. And the atomic number can always be found at the bottom left-hand corner. Sometimes it would be on the top right, but the key is that it will be the smaller number out of the two. So between 7 and 3, the smaller number is 3. That's your A number. That's your atomic number. So in this case, there's 3 protons. So that checks out how to find out protons. Now they tell us that it's neutral. So when you have a neutral atom, that means that the total number of protons will always equal the number of electrons because they will cancel out. Your positive charges will be equal to the number of negative charges, which are electrons. And when you add them together, you will get a zero charge. You will get a neutral charge. So if you have three protons, you should have three electrons. And all of these are neutral, so the protons will equal the electrons. So that's how you find this one out. And now to find the neutrons, the number of neutrons will always come from the subtraction of your two numbers that are found on your symbol here. Your Z number, which is up top, represents the mass number. Mass number is always equal to number of protons plus neutrons. Your A number, just like we said before, is just your number of protons. So in order to find the number of neutrons, all you got to do is just take your Z number and minus your A number. So you take your mass number and minus your atomic number. So for example, for this case, it would be 7 minus 3. And that would get you a 4. So that means that there's 4 neutrons. If you do your subtraction and you get a negative number, go back for neutrons. You'll never have a negative number for neutrons. All right? So it's always the larger number minus the smaller number. So for A, you have 3 protons, 3 electrons, and 4 neutrons. Box that answer off. We're moving on to the next one. TE, tellurium, 125 and 52. P, E, N. Okay, protons is down below, 52, so 52 protons. Since it's neutron, the electron should equal 52 as well. That's always the case. And your neutrons would be just the subtraction of 125 minus 52. So 125 minus 52, 125 minus 52 is 73. So that is how many protons, neutrons, and electrons are in letter B. Check that off. Next, AG, silver, 109, 47, P, E, N. Protons are on the bottom left-hand corner, so we have 47 protons. This is neutral, so the number of protons equals the number of electrons, so you have 47. And then... Your neutrons is your mass number, which is 109, minus 47. And that will get you the number of neutrons. So 109 minus 47 is 62. Box that off. That's how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are in this sample of silver, which is AG. We're moving on. We got uh, nitrogen, which is a mass number of 15, an atomic number of 7, Protons, electrons, and neutrons. Protons is in the bottom left-hand corner. That's the atomic number. It's seven. Electrons, there should be the same number as protons as electrons because it's neutral, so seven. 
And then 15 minus 7, so 15 minus 7, will tell me how many neutrons I have. So that's 8. Box that answer off. That's how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are in D. And last but not least, we got phosphorus, P. 31 up top, 15 on the bottom. Protons, electrons, neutrons. Protons are at the bottom, 15. That's the atomic number. It's neutral, so that means that you should have the same amount of electrons as protons, so they're both 15. And then 31 minus 15, 31 minus 15, mass number minus atomic number will always get you your neutrons. So 31 minus 15 is 16. So in this sample, you'll have 16 neutrons and then 15 protons and 15 electrons, and that's your answer for E. Simple as that, right? Can't get any easier. I hope this helped out a lot, guys. If it did, click that like button, tell us in the comments, and if you want more questions coming your way ASAP, hit that subscribe button. We thank you so much. We appreciate all of you guys. This has been awesome so far. I'll see you guys in number 20. Bye-bye.